how to create a page for a website using the photographer's website builder, Smugmug. This video is part of my free guide, how to build a dog breeder website using a photographer's portfolio website template. The link to the free guide and a discount off Smugmug are both in the description below. Now to create a page on the website, we need to head up to organize. If we click through, this will take us through to where all your photos are stored in the unlimited photo storage. Now we need to be up in the left corner and we want to create a web page. And a web page is a page you can customize for any purpose. Now, when you click through to a page to add to your website, you can choose the page type and layout. You can have three different types of about me. You can have a custom page, which is a com completely blank page to customize for anything. Portfolio, there are three types to choose from, ready-made templates to display photos, galleries, photo collages, slideshow, and then there are the pricing pages. Now, these are perfect for the dog breeder websites. You've got the list, which is for the news page I've used, banners, which I've used for a blog, but we're going to use a custom page, which is a page from scratch. Now we need to give the page a title. So we'll call this page test. Now that title wants to be either your puppies, about, one of the dog's names and the meta description wants to be full of what the page is about and you can add the meta keywords in too. The security and sharing needs to be set to public so that people can see the website online. And then you're gonna click create and that will create the page and take you straight through to be able to edit the page. Now there's nothing there because we were working on a blank page. This is a customized panel where you add the content blocks just for this page down the right hand side. That's for the theme, and then we've got the background and we've got the layout of the page. Now, if we have a look what's already on, we've got the breadcrumb. If we click the wrench icon, that will bring up the settings for the breadcrumb. Breadcrumb, the little house will take you back home. I always remove the breadcrumb and bring in a title instead. So, just gonna hit the bin and delete this. Remove content block, it's dead obvious, remove which leaves completely blank space there to drag any content blocks, what you would like in. So we'll start with the title. So we want text. If we click on there and drag a title. Now, when you drag any content blocks, we'll get a green line. Okay. And we'll click the wrench and this is the settings to the title. You can have different size title, align it left, right, center. You can have a different color. Now, if you've lost your customized panel, hit that green cross and you can move it to the left with the little arrow back to the right. Now let's have a look. We'll add some photos. We can add a single photo, multiple photos, a slideshow or the carousel. Let's drag the carousel in. So green at the top, green at the left, at the right, and I want it at the bottom. So we'll drop, try and drop it to the bottom. There we go. Now we've got the settings where the photos are coming from. Just one gallery or what I prefer is to be able to choose my photos. And then if you click choose photos, it will take you back through to where all your photos are stored for you to choose your photos. Now we'll start with Gertie. I'll take a couple of Gertie's photos for the carousel. And by choosing your photos, if you've got like I have my dogs in all separate galleries, you can take so many photos out of each gallery. Now to go back, I'm gonna go back to the dog's folder. So you can either go back home, I'm gonna go back to the dog's folder and go to Bobby. I'm gonna take a photo from Bobby's gallery, back to the dog's folder, take a photo from Crystal's gallery. That's all I want from there. Let's go back to the dog's folder, take a couple from Billy's, gallery just click on the photos and they'll be added in lucy's gallery i think we just want one from lucy's where is it 
there we go so we'll click on that one back to the folder we'll just get one of Travis we're just doing a test click on that now up there it tells you how many you've chose you can have up to 48 in this carousel right let's move this panel out the way so we can see there we go okay you can have the carousel set at 50 percent width at 100 percent 66 percent which is quite a nice size 50%, 33, 25, and there's 20% as well. 33 is quite a good size if you've got Facebook photos, what you're wanting to display. Now we've got the controls. So we've got navigation, arrows are on, and you can have a speed, you can have the speed off, or you can choose slow, medium, and fast the way the slider speeds around and loop the images so it'll continually loop around okay looks okay but this not quite right still right let's have a look we've got the wrench to get more photos in click the wrench and you can go back and add more the move tool you can move the carousel anywhere around the page the dimensions this will add some space around. Now, if we go for the top margin, if you look above the carousel, if we add 48, that will add a little space above the carousel, but we'll leave it at 12. Click done. Now, if we go back to the customize panel and look at the layout, so we were on the content, we'll click the layout. At the moment we're set to fixed. If we change that to stretchy, it's gonna stretch the page out to full width. If we click done, click publish now, can have a look at what the page looks like already we've stretched the page to full width and the carousel looks quite nice like that so we'll go back in and customize the page again and what we're going to do is add some text to the page now so if we go back to the customize panel we want the text and then the text content block if we look for the green lines and the arrows and drop it what we'll do we we'll just write like a normal text editor in here if i write the title red ara setters highlight over it i'm going to give that the header one drop down and make sure it says normal and i've already got some text which i'll just paste in here for example purposes okay so we've got some writing on the page you can write as much as you like in there now the one above we don't need that so let's just delete that but you know how you can bring a separate title in remove that okay if we go back in to the text editor so we click back on the wrench and if we highlight over all the text we can center align it click done that's how you center align it just like any normal text editor we'll go back in straighten it back up okay click done now if we click the dimensions you'll see it's full width at the moment now if we add a bit of space either side if we add 96 px pixels 96 each side it just brings it in a little bit and click done and i'm going to click on the wrench again and the title will just center align just the title and leave the text straight click done sort of getting somewhere with that text go back in because we could do with a bit of space at the top and the bottom so 48 it's a bit of a magic number with smug mug 48 i think someone's lucky number so 48 in the top and the bottom okay we'll add a button for a contact form now so if we go back to add content blocks we want navigation and then you want to find the button so if you drag that onto the page We'll drop that under the text and what we'll do if we change the my button text to contact okay now you can have a small or a large button a solid or an outline and then i'll just put it in the center so we can zoom in right we're going to have an outline you can either have it solid or an outline and the outline you can change to the accent color and the accent color is the bright color what's going to stand out 
okay you can easily change that within the theme and then the text color you can have as the accent color or as the color of the text we'll leave that white and then the link within there you can just click contact form and the contact form is added I've got another video in the free guide about how to set up the contact form which is really easy and then again we'll just add 48 to the bottom margin and that's it that's that contact form added and we'll preview the page and there we go we've got the carousel a bit of text and a contact form easily added to the website okay there will be more videos for the dogs page the dog show news page and for the blog now the dogs I've always had a page per dog and then a main page to get to those dogs pages but what you could do if you didn't want to do that is have a dogs and bitches page or a girls and boys or rainbow bridge and the main dogs or just one page like I've got for your dogs and then add a contact button at the bottom now this page is made from the pricing page type list which is exactly the same as what the dog show news page is made of which would go to latest news it's exactly the same layout but instead of the photo I delete the photo and then drag in a slideshow or a video or whatever needs to be in or if you haven't got a photo for that year just don't have anything just remove the photo and then for the blog I just use the pricing page type banner and that's how that's made up and then it links to the blog pages which are custom pages now there'll be a link to the free guide and for a discount off smugmug in the description below